So an ad came up in one of my feeds uh, from Bevo, which is a new water bottle company that makes a stainless uh, insulated water bottle. And out here in the desert, it gets pretty hot, so I thought I'd give it a try. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and experiment with this new water bottle and compare it to a hydro flask, as well as the standard uh, Camelback insulated water bottle. Should be a fun little experiment to try out. All right, experiment one here. Traditional water bottle. Yep, traditional Camelback uh, podium insulated bottle. Let's take a temperature reading. Turn that puppy on. So ambient temperature, what, 64 degrees? Plugging this in here, 39 degrees, 39.2 degrees. Pretty close there. Okay, so that's nice and cold. And put the lid back on this here. This is the Hydro Flask. All right, hydro flask temperature. Again, 39.6 degrees. So it's, it should be the same, about the same, yeah. It should all be the same at this point because yeah, they're all coming from the, the ice chest here. All right, and now we'll do it for the new, the Bevo insulated water bottle. So what, how this works, because it's insulated um, and you can't squeeze it when you actually use it. It has this interesting concept with this hose that lets air in. So that way, when you actually lift and drink, it just pours out. So we'll give a better example of that when we're actually on the trail, but that's kind of how this whole thing works. So go ahead and pour it. Fill that in there. Again, just to kind of confirm the temperature again. 39 degrees. Perfect. Okay. Bit on there. Which one? Which is one will this which one is gonna be the one we got? Alright. All right. Un uninsulated bottle, basically. Yeah. yeah, this is the first uh, one here, our Camelback podium here. Ambient temperature, 73 degrees there. We're gonna pop off the top here real quick. There. And we're at, it's dropping down to 60.4 degrees. Okay, so 20 degree rise. Yeah. We've been riding for probably 45 minutes. Yeah, I'll say 45 minutes to it. Next one we'll do is the Hydro Floss that's been in my bag on my back. Oh, thanks. Let me taste it here real quick. Ah, nice and chilly. All right. Okay. Stick this in there. And it oh is my. reading 43 so. and a half. So only basically uh, four or five degrees. Four or five degree temperature up uh, on that one. Pretty impressive. Yeah, that's impressive with the uh, hydro flask. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right, last uh, check is on the 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 Bevo insulated uh, container. Just throw it in there, and it is forty. 4.8 degrees okay. so a little not as uh not as cold as the hydro flask but definitely better than the camelback so okay so the uh, these are about performing the same but fred and i were having a conversation that um this is specifically 
uh, a biking yeah, bottle. bottle right. Versus the Hydro Flask, right? Because right. the Hydro Flask is like a trail bottle. You always have to unscrew the cap and to drink right. and, and what have you. As for how this works is you, it, you can get these optional dust cap here for $5. You lift up the, you pop up the top here. And with the suction, you just kind of just pour it basically, it, you know, because you, you can't squeeze it. So it just pours into your mouth. So just to kind of give an example. Look at that. A little so, messy, but well, you don't have normally, to squeeze it. I just wanted to kind of show that yep. like, I wouldn't normally actually put my mouth on the thing here. It's just so you can't see it flowing. Actually, it's also got vodka in there. Mm -hmm. I'm kidding. But... That's how I would normally drink it. Nice. So it works very well, nice and cold. Of course, today is not the hottest day, uh, but it will just get hotter in the mornings and the summer. It's hard to communicate to our viewers who don't live in Arizona how hot it gets here, but it isn't uncommon to come out to the trails before the sun is up and it's in the 90s. Yeah, the other thing I want to mention on the bottle cage here, so they do make a smaller insulated version one, but it's sold out, so I'm on the waiting list to get that one. But So this is pretty tall. This yeah. is a tall one. It barely squeezes in here. It, the silicone edge here kind of touches the bottom of my shock. Yeah, the, we actually we elected not to even put one on mine yeah. for that reason. So And the, uh, the other nice thing is, like, this is the raw metal one, so you can kind of see some scratches here and stuff. But the other ones also come with a silicone coating on there, so you can get them with different colors with the silicone. I just chose to get the raw. Nice. The other nice thing that came with them is these rounded water bottle cage uh, screws. So that way uh, you, they don't scratch up the silicone when you have the silicone ones. And Instead stuff, so. of the uh, the socket caps. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And uh, again, what's the, you know, the screws here, they're not scratching it. It's the cage itself that's scratching it. But this is all can easily be buffed out. So, yeah, I, my reaction is who cares? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a water bottle. Yeah, right? it's, it's a water bottle. It's nice. It's going to get abused. It's nice. Things out. All right. All right, so our ambient temperature of 77, 78 degrees there. Let's open up the camelback first. All right, we dip in and we're 69 degrees, 69.3 degrees. So a little cooler, but uh, definitely almost ambient. Almost ambient, yeah. Next is the oh wait, next is the hydro flask, right? Because we do that one now again. I think the the one difference with hydro flask is that we haven't been drinking out of it very often, so it has more liquid in here. So might it definitely cooler, yeah. it might be a little cooler than the others just because of the ability to stay in there. So again, it's forty eight degrees, so a little bit warmer. Almost forty nine. There we go. Forty nine. All right, forty nine. We'll call it forty nine point one. That's good enough. And finally, stop it there. Okay, we get that dipped in there. Forty-seven degrees. Forty-seven point seven. Basically. Yeah, forty-eight. So. so nearly identical to the hydro flask. Yeah, it no. kept up pretty well, actually. It sure did. It held up. So, again, uh, definitely a big, a much bigger difference, especially versus something like this. Yep. And, and the other advantage is this is all stainless steel, so you don't get any of that plasticky kind of taste. And, you know, it's, it is also dishwasher safe. So oh. they do say you can throw this whole thing into the dishwasher. Uh, they do recommend for the uh, lid to hand wash, but you can throw it into dishwasher as well. And it's all silicone on the, on the lid. So and the uh, shorter version is still also stainless steel? Yeah, it's stainless okay. steel, yeah. So they, they do, so right now they have like, for the insulated ones. So they do have non-insulated ones as well that are smaller in size that will fit anything. But again, they're not gonna stay as cold because it's not right. insulated. Yeah, we want the, the and, definitely the insulated yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, maybe when you're traveling in the mountains during the summertime, but out here when it's gonna be right. 80, 90 degrees in the morning, every one is insulated. Bit, uh, yeah, the yeah, insulated I think will make a huge difference. Everyone that's r ridden in Arizona is familiar with sort of the disappointment of you take a big swig out of one of these and you get warm Gatorade yeah. and you're like well 
you know, I have it really for the electrolytes, but it would be nice to, to keep it nice and cool like yeah. that and get that satisfying cold. Yeah, feeling. And, yeah. and a, a lot of people do things like they'll freeze it and let it melt. And I've done that in the past as well. But sometimes like when you're in the beginning of the ride, it's too frozen and you can't get too much you out of it. Any. Yeah, yep. yeah. It's like there are too many compromises. So I figure this, you know, instead of just having to carry this in my bag and stuff, at least I can put this yeah, on the bike. Built. Yeah. Insulated water bottle. Yeah. Yeah. So right now it's a thumbs up for the Bevo.